everybody, how are you today? How are you today? This is Stephanie with Oasis Palisades and also your intentional happiness enthusiast. Woo -woo. How are you today? How are you today? What have you done today for your soul? What have you done today for your mind? What have you done today for your body? And what have you done today for your business? What have you done today for you? Because that's where it all begins. It begins with you, it begins with your mind. Are you happy? happy. <laughs> what have you done today? Hey, David, welcome. Feed your soul, grow your mind, your body will benefit, and your business will flourish. Woo -woo. <laughs> what have you done today? Today is one of my favorite days. Um, once a month, we have a mastermind with my business coach, Casey Eberhardt. Um, there's a whole bunch of us who get together physically together in a room um, once a month and we get to create business stuff for ourselves and as a group um, today we did an exercise where we broke down starting a new business into four categories the first category was you need a website and a blog second one is you need social media and a marketing plan the third is you need lead generation and fourth is you need a, a product or a service to monetize so each group got a different thing and we worked on it and each group had two hundred and fifty dollars to play with so starting a whole business with a just a budget of a thousand dollars my small group had social media and marketing plan and that was very exciting because we got to talk about all the different ways to um you know that you use social media let me look for my notes which um let's see um where did i put my notes oh here it is um so for marketing, we've got email, text blasts, send out cards, you can make memes, you can do specials, you can do Facebook ads, and for social media, where do you want to play in the social media? Do you want to be in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter? Do you know that with um, a free app called IFTTT, it stands for if this, wait, if this, then that. If this, then that. I have personally set up um, that every time I post in Facebook, it automatically posts that same thing into Twitter. So everything that I post in Facebook, which is a lot, then automatically, and I've only set it up once, goes into Twitter and I have had people who I've met for the first time say man you are so active on Twitter and you know what I'm not on Twitter at all it's just that I set it up once in the system that um, if I post to Facebook then it automatically posts to Twitter so you can set up an IFTTT one time so that if you post in Facebook or Instagram first, it'll go set it up automatically into those other um, places as well. And that is a free app. Woo -woo. So that is just um, one of the ways that you can use social media. So having a mentor, having a mastermind, having business BFFs is awesome because it helps you to grow your mind and expand your thinking you know we all get stuck in our stinking thinking so today is day 23 of our countdown till the end of the year it's 78 days left till the end of the year we've been counting down from a hundred and like I say today is day 23 and today's 
acutherapy self acupressure massage point is SP4, also known as Spleen 4, also known as the grandparent grandchild point. It is located in the upper arch of the foot on both sides, one thumb width from the ball of the foot. I'll show you where that point is now. Thank you, Mario, for your like. <laughs> so um, I'm actually on my phone and not my computer. My computer is giving me trouble. So let me just take my foot. I'm having to hold my phone and do this point. So here is the side of your foot and here is the um, ball of the foot right there. So you take one thumb width from the ball of the foot and right there is SP4, spleen four. This is a fabulous point if you have a stomach ache. This is a fabulous point if you have indigestion this is a fabulous point here for all stomach problems. You just massage it there. This is a fabulous point if you want to work on the stomach and spleen. This point balances energy for the stomach and spleen. This point is also good for hypoglycemia, digestion, cold feet, foot cramps, bloody stools. Um, let me see what else here. I, um, for, uh, let's see, bloody stools, edema, regulates menstruation. Here's the point here. Regulates menstruation and it's good for chest congestion. So here is spleen four. You take the um, side of the foot. This is the uh, ball of the foot right there, that point there, and you measure one thumb width, and there is spleen four. That is a amazing, amazing point if you have a stomach ache or any indigestion or digestive problems, bloody stools, hypoglycemia, foot cramps, cold feet, and more we are we've already learned 23 self acupressure massage points so that if you have a headache or you're feeling stressed out and need to calm yourself or center yourself we have these self acupressure points that we can do every day for our health there are points that they do every day in china for longevity. There are points that they do every day just to be grounded. So though that is our acupressure point for today. Today we are going to tap on fear and miracles. Today's tapping is on fear and miracles. We're going to do um, one Two rounds of tapping for fear, and then one round of tapping for miracles. Um, every time you make a thought, you make a chemical. If you have great thoughts, you make chemicals that make you happy and feel good. If you have a negative thought or bad thoughts, you make chemicals that make you feel bad. We live in an ocean of motion. Everything is an expression of the same Thing. It's all energy at a different rate of vibration. Your body is a molecular structure at a very high speed and your brain is an electronic switching station. The brain does not think, but you think with your brain. Your brain does not think, but you think with your brain. So while we're tapping on affirmations, affirmations can change your life for the better if you know how to use them. So tapping on, acu af bleh, tapping on acupressure points as you say affirmations, this is a combination of tapping the energy meridians 
and voicing positive affirmations and it works to sh um, clear the short circuit, the emotional block from your body's bioenergy system. We're all, like I said, a vibration. Thus restoring your mind and body's balance, which is essential for optimal health and the healing of physical disease. So we're tapping affirmations because we are rewiring the brain. Our brains are amazing tools and our brains are powerful. Think good thoughts and your body will release healthy, good endorphins. All right, let's get to tapping two rounds for fear. Eyebrow point. I, my fear-based thoughts are now gone for good. My fear-based thoughts are now gone for good. It's okay to talk about things that scare me. It's okay to talk about things that scare me. I am free of the fear of people. I am free of the fear of people. It's okay to fear facing my fear. It's okay to fear facing my fear. Every day I choose to decrease my fears. Every day I choose to decrease my fears. Hey Sam, welcome, long time no see. I am now conquering my fears one at a time. I am now conquering my fears one at a time. I now choose love and peace instead of fear. I now choose love and peace instead of fear. I deserve to be free of the fear of failure. I deserve to be free of the fear of failure. All right, second round, eyebrow point. I am fearless. I am fearless. I happily relinquish all fear-based thoughts. I happily relinquish all fear-based thoughts. Fear takes a backseat to the peace I enjoy. Peace, no, fear takes a backseat to the peace I enjoy. I am free from all forms of fear. We are tapping affirmations. I am free from all forms of fear. I am fearless today and always. I am fearless today and always. With an easy breath, I blow away my fear thoughts. With an easy breath, I blow away my fear thoughts. Today, I give myself permission to be greater than my fears. Today, I give greater permission to be greater than my fears. And last, my fears decrease each day. And I feel it's happening. I actually do feel each day my fears decrease. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? My business coaches, they all, or my business coach and a lot of mentors, they all say that most successful people have multiple streams of income. So what multiple streams of income do you have? Um, you know, we can have our job, we can have a business, we can have a couple of home-based business. You know, I use um, the doTERRA herbs, which means I can also sell those herbs and it is a home-based business. Um, I use send out cards to uh, for relationship marketing in my business. All of my clients get send out cards and also that is a home-based business. So um, I sell uh, frequency jewelry uh, and regular jewelry. And then um, I just got these amazing bottles. I have 
12 of them in my car. I just got them from Casey today. He brought them all the way back from Australia for me. To um, I'm the only person right now in the United States of America who has these frequency bottles and I look forward to sharing with all of you more about that. I'm very, very excited. But um, I'm doing the, you know, um, where is it? So it takes 21 days to develop a habit and 90 days to create a lifestyle. So I am doing all of these tapping and affirmations and um, visualizations and trusting and believing. Um, and I am inviting you guys to come along because we all are a work in progress and we all have stuff that we need to work on. Um, for me, it's fear of sales. I have a huge fear of being that pushy salesperson, you know. I get sold to a lot. You know, a lot of times people want to share their opportunities with me, which I don't mind. Um, but then I, I, you know, I, I don't know, it's hard to say, but um, we are all a work in progress. And so I am doing these affirmations and tapping uh, for myself and inviting you all to come along and, and join me. What have you done today for your soul, for your mind, for your body, for your business? What have you done for somebody else? Um, Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. All right, let's do our last round of tapping for miracles. I truly believe in miracles. I am like, I feel like a little whack job sometimes because I try not to watch the news. I try not to hear negative things. I try to kind of live in this bubble because, um, you know, that just helps me. Um, as somebody who is an empath, you know, it helps me to stay grounded. So um, I believe in magic, I believe in faith, I believe in miracles, and I hope all of those things and wish all of those things for you too. So let's do a round of tapping for miracles. I am a magnet for miracles. I am a magnet for miracles. I am open to miracles. I am open to miracles. I am, I welcome all miracles. Hallelujah. I welcome all miracles. I am surrounded and blessed by unexpected miracles. I am surrounded and blessed by unexpected miracles. I see big and small miracles everywhere because I expect them to happen. I see big and small miracles everywhere because I expect them to happen. Today is full of miracles. Today is full of miracles. I am grateful for the miracles that, I, that are occurring in my life. I am grateful for the miracles that are occurring in my life and I receive them with love. <sighs> and I receive them with love. Every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. Every day, in every way, you are getting better and better. Every day, in every way, we are getting better and better and better and better. I am so excited to be on this journey. I am so excited to um, all the things to come in the future for my business, for those that I love. I am praying for all of you to find what it is that you're passionate about because when you're doing what you're passionate about, it's not it just makes it easier. It's not, it's something you want to do, and which is very exciting. All right, y'all, peace out. This is Stephanie with Oasis Palisades and also your intentional happiness enthusiast. Woo, woo. 
Now go and tell somebody that you love that you're thinking of them because you never know how just that text or the phone call or um, however you reach out to people, a card, you never know how that can change their life. Just knowing that you care and that you're thinking of them can really change somebody's life because we never know what anyone's going through. All right, y'all. Peace. World peace. I love you.